In this SpecView Secrets tutorial, you will learn how to create a new project for your F4T controller using SpecView version 3. To get started, launch SpecView, click Select Create Project, then click Test Comms for New Project. Enter a name for the project and click OK. The Ports and Protocols dialog lists the available COM ports on your computer and TCP IP for connecting by Ethernet. In most cases, the F4T communicates with the computer over Ethernet, but you can use a 232 or 485 connection via a COM port. If you'll use a serial communications port and not Ethernet, select Watlow F4T for protocol at the COM port to which your F4T is connected. Since I'm using Ethernet, I'm going to leave all the COM ports set to None. To connect to the F4T via Ethernet, set the TCP IP protocol to Watlow F4T. My F4T is at IP address 192.168.0.222. I only need SpecView to check that address, so I enter it for both begin and end. My controller is powered on, connected to the network my PC is on, and SpecView knows the type of controller to look for and the address to try, so I click Start Scan to start automatic detection. When SpecView finds the F4T, it reads the part number and decides which instruments to add to the project. In version 3, SpecView prompts you for each instrument it adds, giving you a chance to name the instrument, set the decimal places for it, and even assign it to a group. Groups let you organize the variables list, making it easier to find things when you have lots of instruments. You can create groups later, and since I'm only connecting to one F4T, I'm not going to do anything with groups for now. It's helpful to name the instruments in a way that's meaningful to you and relevant to the application. I'm going to preface the names for all the instruments for this F4T with Oven 1. The F4T uses floating point numbers, so the decimal place setting here determines the precision with which numbers are displayed by default, but does not affect the scaling. The F4T device instrument includes the temperature unit setting, degrees C or degrees F, and other information about the controller. Click OK to go on to the next instrument. SpecView adds an instrument view for the device instrument to the screen because Auto Build GDW View is selected. Instrument views are helpful, especially initially when you're getting used to what each instrument is for. You'll be able to move or delete them any time later. The alarms instrument includes the parameters for setting, monitoring, and responding to alarms 1 through 14. The profile editor instrument allows you to create, edit, and delete profiles in the F4T. The profile engine instrument allows you to select a profile, run it, monitor its progress, pause it, and terminate it. The Profile List instrument allows you to view the list of profiles and start any of them. The Special Output Function block can be used to control a compressor with one or two loops for cooling and dehumidification. You get an instrument for each loop and each cascade loop. My F4T has two loops. The first is used for temperature control, so I'll name it Oven 1 Temp. I only want to see the temperature in whole degrees, not tenths, so I'll set decimal places to 0 dp. My second loop controls humidity. I'll name it Oven 1 RH, and I want to see it in tenths, so I set the decimal places to 1 dp. Once all the instruments are detected, click Stop. Since this is the only protocol and address I want to scan, I click OK. Click the red V to open the variables list and see all the instruments that were added by auto detection. My F4T includes a limit in slot 3, which I'm going to add manually to the configuration. Click the blue T button for the new instruments list. Think templates. Scroll down to Watlow F4T and expand it. Select F4T limit and click create instrument. Enter a name. Select the TCP IP port. Set the address. Because the limit is in slot 3, the offset is 3. Set decimal places and click Create. It's easy to see if I did it right by expanding the new limit instrument in the variables list and seeing the parameter values are displayed. I could add instruments for other F4T function blocks such as variables, timers, and counters if they were used in the application. 
We hope you found this SpecView Secrets tutorial helpful. More secrets are revealed in other installments.